Hello, my name's Ben from ukuleleroadtrips.com. It's a website you should check out. And this video is a tutorial for your song. Yes, your, well, it's also Elton John's song, but then he wrote it for someone else, so it's probably an acquaintance of Elton John's song. We're going to have an extra good look at the plucking that we can use in this song to make it sound on our dear little ukulele uh, as much to the spirit of the original as we can. And also, there's a sheet that you can download that goes with this video, just in the description under the YouTube video. Uh, through the Patreon you can get lots of uh, tabs, the lyrics, the chords of course and all of that, so that can accompany your learning for this one. So, we're going to dive right in, and actually I'm not going to use the... We're going to have a look at the chords right here, to my left and to your right. This is what you need, so a few of these you probably know already. For example, C, F, G, E minor, even A minor. Now C6 is just everything open. That's a C6. A minor sharp 6. Now it's just an A minor, but you add on the second fret of the third string, fourth finger and there you have it so it sounds complicated it isn't that much uh, D minor second second first open E7 first second open second with uh, your three middle fingers and also we're gonna use a little bit a G sus4 which is like a G but with your little finger on the fret just above your middle finger on the last string it's a little bit funny that there are this many chords, but uh, it really is the case. Funny or not funny. So, when you practice these chords, make sure that they all ring nicely without any sort of string vibrating or anything. And of course, the very important thing that you need to do before playing chords is make sure that you're in tune. Okay. So with these chords, we're then equipped to go on and have a look at the... Uh, at the your song. So the intro is C, F, G, F. There's a much nicer way to play this actually, uh, that will sound like this at the end. It's a little bit funny, but we're going to have a look at that specific intro towards the end of the video. First of all, an easy walk through the verse and the chorus. So get your ukes ready and a C ready. It starts on a C. It's a little bit funny, fa, with the F, G, this feeling in, and then E minor side, A minor. Not one of those C6 who can easily hide, F on hide, C. Don't have much G on money. Money, but E7. Boy, if I did. A minor on the did. C. I'd buy a big D minor house where F. We both could live. So you see, for example, here the F is before the we both. We both could, and the G on the live. Live, and then G says for G. And then again, if I was a sculptor, F. But then again, no, or a man who makes potions in the, and then the A minor sharp six. Traveling show, I no, it's not G on the march, but it's the E7 on the best I can do. E minor on do. C, my gift is my song, and F, this one's for C on you. Right, so those are the chords and where they land on the uh, on the verse. Now chorus, get a G ready, G, and you can tell A minor on everybody, everybody, D minor. This is your F song, G. It may be quite simple, but D minor. Now that it's an F on down, I hope you don't mind. I hope you don't mind. That I put down in words How wonderful life is While you're in the world B 
sure to have a look in the worksheet in the description which chords fall on top of words and which chords fall just before words because it's sort of half half a lot of them are uh, without words at the same time for example g there's no words with playing this g the words come after and you can tell but the a minor comes on everybody everybody d minor and this is your an f on song so so we have a great example here of uh, you need to really adjust the landing of the chords. Now, right after the chorus, you have the special uh, four chords, C, F, G, F, a little instrumental break. And actually here you'll be also able to use the special uh, plucking that we'll see at the end. Then it really makes it feel like the original. I sat on the roof. Right, and about the subject of plucking, now that you have an idea of how to play it, we need to make sure that there's a steady way of plucking through it. So, of course, you could strum this, for example, in a very simple way, uh, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up. So that's down. However, I recommend that you just keep that strumming for the second chorus. Then you can really give more energy. But this song sounds much nicer plucked. So that's what we're going to have a look at. The plucking we're going to use sounds like this. It's a little bit funny This feeling inside So, the way that this works, we're going to have a look at this quite uh, slowly, is that you, uh, it's basically, it's eight plucks, eight plucks per chord. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 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 One, two, three. You understand. And it's, first of all, uh, string one and three, and then two, three, four, three, two, three, two, and then one and three, two, three, four, three, two, three, two, one. Okay, so we have it up here normally, and the way that you practice is like this. Uh, you pick a chord and just practice that pluck without changing the left hand. So it's going to sound like this. This uh, plucking actually enables you to give a feel that comes as close as it's possible with the ukulele to the original song because you really get that. It's a one, two, three, four, bam, bam, ba di ba dim, bam, ba di ba dim, bam, ba di ba dim, bam, bam, and that's what Elton John does on the piano. This bam, bam, bi di bi. So this is what we're doing with this particular plucking pattern. So I recommend, I recommend you really uh, work on this to get it steady. And in the document that you can download with this lesson, I'm putting uh, the uh, tabs like this, but for many more chords. So you can actually read the tab and pluck at the same time. It's a little bit funny feeling inside I'm not one of those who can easily hide Don't have much money but boy if I did I'd buy a big house where we both could live If I was a sculptor so that's a little thing that you can do on top of that. When you arrive at the G, G sus4, G, instead of continuing to strum like this, which sounds also nice, you can just go. So the way this goes slowly is 
big house where we both could live. La, la, la. So you have the G, G, and 4, 4, 4, G, back, and you can... So what's really uh, important is that you get a steady feel for the plucking, and then really it's the same for every chord, except for the G sus 4, G bit. Um, but it's pretty much the same thing all the time. So that's what's tricky with this tutorial, getting the plucking being regular and uninterrupted. Every pluck, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, it really needs to be flowing. It's a little bit funny. So, now, uh, if you've gone this far, that's really amazing. Now just remember that this always needs a bit of practice and uh, every single uh, plucking pattern need its, needs its own uh, half hours sometimes of practice, dedicated practice. So uh, we can have a look at a way of opening up the song a little bit and making it sound like Elton John's original or Ewan McGregor's original to that matter. And that the way to do that is to uh, have a uh, different kind of C, F and G at the beginning. So instead of playing C, F, G, F, we can expand those chords and play them in a more brilliant way. You see, I'm not playing the C here, I'm going higher up the fret and playing it like this. And F and G and F. Now the particular uh, tabs for these chords, which are very different from the ones we used to play, very easy to play but quite different, are in the document you can download with this lesson. Uh, and the strumming is going to be a little bit different also. Instead of strumming like this, we're going to strum like this. It's a little bit funny. See what's happening there. So, the way this is happening is that we're, first of all, it's always eight plucks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Except there's no eight. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And the first one is actually not just a pluck, it's all of the strings in one go. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Thumb, second, third, fourth. And very fast, it sounds like this. And so we're going to play it like this, a bit like an arpeggio on the piano. This is an arpeggio on the ukulele, so... The way you can uh, practice this is just arpeggio without the plucking in between. So C, F, and G slash C, and F slash C. So if you just practice this, first of all, you'll get a sense for the chords. You need to be really careful that none of the strings uh, make disruptive sounds. So once you've mastered these chords, after that you can insert the plucking in between. The 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. Because 1 is this. 1. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Feel free to write in if you have any difficulties with this. What's quite important is to make sure that all of the chords sound really nice. It takes a bit of gymnastics of the fingers on this one. But it really is a lovely song, so if you can actually open it like this, it really gives it a bit of a boost. So, uh, I recommend that you do expand it like this. And I'll just play for you the transition between the intro that we're playing in the special way, which is also a musical instrumental break and also the very end bit at the end of the piece. That's how it finishes. Except at the end you play C, F, G, F and then back to C. Can 
Um, feel free to add any comments if you need some tips with the playing of this song. I think uh, with these tips, with this information that was on, over on this side and in the document you can download in the description, you're all set to play a beautiful plucked version of your song. Yes, your song. Or you can make it yours with these different techniques. So, thank you very much for following this tutorial. I'm Ben from ukuleleworktrips.com and uh, through the Patreon also you can find all the other uh, tutorials that have worksheets also. Feel free to send me your covers of this song by the way, uh, I'd be happy to see how you're getting along with these techniques. So enjoy Elton's melody, uh, remember to subscribe also, and see you soon!